so this is the median section of the brain so you are seeing that this is hypophyseal fossa present in the asphenoid bone so in the asphenoid what you are seeing here the pituitary gland this is pituitary gland and this is stalk which connect the pituitary gland to the uh, to the brain uh, base of the brain this is known as infundibulum this is the mri scan of the brain here this is hypophyseal fossa you are seeing the pituitary gland and infundibulum so in this picture what you are seeing the dura mater so both uh, uh, there are two layers of dura mater industrial layer and meningeal layer so you can see both the layers here brain is removed and what you are seeing is the middle cranial fossa this is the entire cranial fossa this is hypophyseal fossa this is sulcus chiasmaticus and uh, this is the uh, diaphragma cilia uh, this is the part of the dura mater so you are seeing here that uh, you, you already know that uh industrial layer and meningeal layer are adherent to each other but at some places they are separated and venous blood runs in that places these places are known as dural venous sinuses these are valveless and here i will show you some sinuses so along the posterior border of lesser vein here you are seeing the meningeal layer is slightly separate from the industrial layer and here there is a sinus present known as sphenoparietal sinus also here on the lateral wall of body of sphenoid here meningeal area is separated from the industrial layer also there is a sinus present here known as cavernous sinus and this is the superior border of the petrous part of temporal bone here also uh, meningeal layer and industrial layer are separated and dural venous sinus is present this sinus is known as superior petrosal sinus now you can see that sphenoparietal sinus and cavernous sinus and superior uh, superior petrosal sinus these sinuses are continuous with each other so uh, you can also see there are various nerves here this is optic nerve optic nerve and they meet with each other and some fibers crosses also to the opposite sides Uh, and uh, this is the separate chapter of discussion then this is optic nerve then uh, this is optic chasma this crossing point and then it forms the optic tract and this optic chasma present in the sulcus chiasmaticus and just related to the uh, optic chasma you are seeing the an opening uh, you are seeing a uh, artery this artery is internal carotid artery this is internal carotid artery you are also seeing here internal carotid artery here optic uh, optic nerve and chiasma all are removed here and uh, clearly you are seeing the hypophyseal fossa uh, so in the left side you are also seeing another nerve this nerve this nerve is oculomotor nerve oculomotor nerve is third cranial nerve which supplies the muscles of the eye optic nerve is second cranial nerve just uh, below to the oculomotor nerve this nerve this is trochlear nerve trochlear nerve is the fourth cranial nerve now you are seeing here on the surface of uh, petrous part of temporal bone this one this uh, this one is trigeminal nerve trigeminal nerve is a fifth cranial nerve fifth cranial nerve just below to the trigeminal nerve you are also seeing that another nerve which are going into the cavernous sinus this is abducens nerve so here you are seeing following nerves optic nerve oculomotor nerve trochlear nerve trigeminal nerve and abducens nerve in this picture you are seeing the this is industrial layer of dura mater which covers the bone and this is meningeal layer and here it is separated this is the lateral surface of the body of sphenoid and here the meningeal layer and industrial layer are separated this from the cavernous sinus in the cavernous sinus we are seeing the in the lateral wall from above downwards there are few nerves running the uppermost part oculomotor nerve branch this is the third third cranial nerve then below to the oculomotor nerve fourth cranial nerve nerve this is trochlear nerve and below to the trochlear nerve uh, maxillary nerve ophthalmic nerve branch ophthalmic nerve is the branch of trigeminal nerve and just below the ophthalmic nerve maxillary nerve nerve runs so this is the very important diagram 
for the exam purpose also and uh, in the medial wall you are seeing the internal carotid arteries um, internal carotid artery also enters uh, into the cavernous sinus and again it coming out through the sinus here so internal carotid artery also runs in the cavernous sinus and just below to the internal carotid artery you are seeing the sixth cranial nerve that one is abducens nerve and in the left side of the picture we are seeing that you are seeing here also sinuses this is cavernous sinus this is spinocerebral sinus present along the lesser posterior border of lesser wing of spinoid bone and this is the suprapetrosis sinus present along the superior border of petrous part of temporal bone